Make a date with Rev. Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online. Truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet behind the trade fair at the Life Cathedral, behind Zenith College, on Sundays in the morning and on Wednesdays in the evening for our midweek services. Now, um, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts on uh, foolish heroes. In 1 Samuel chapter 25, I come across a very powerful story over there. And that powerful story is about a woman, her husband, and David. The woman's name is called Abigail. Her husband is Nabal. And of course, everybody knows David, hey, the champion, the little guy who killed Goliath. But something happens in 1 Samuel chapter 25. David uh, is, is uh, you know, uh, be, he's staying around uh, Nabal's uh, sheepfold. And so by virtue of David's presence around Nabal's sheepfold, robbers and all sorts of things could not come near because he formed something like a protective wall or a protection or a security for Nabal's flock. Now, it came to a time for uh, celebration and David then went to Nabal and asked Nabal for a piece of meat and said, can you give us one lamp so that we can also celebrate the Passover or celebrate something? And then... Um, the answer Nabal gave was very, very interesting. He just took a swipe at David and uh, lashed out at David and lunged into David with a, a sharp, uh, lacerative tongue and said to David, I mean, reminded David of being a vagabond, being um, a rebel, and all sorts of things. And David, in anger, obviously took a sword and wanted to rush to uh, Nabal's house and just decimate the place and just wipe them. I'm sure that if, if I were David, I'd not only just be thinking of, of wiping them out, having wipe away the cockroach and the wipe away even the rat in, in the house. And then Abigail came, Nabal's wife. She quickly took some victuals of wine. She quickly took some meat and the fat of this thing and then rushed to David. And this is what she said. She said, sir, don't commit this atrocity. First of all, my husband is a fool. And when she said, my husband is a fool, my head jacked up. A woman standing before another man and telling the other man that my husband is a fool. Do not mind him. And you know one of the things, as his name is, so was his character. His name means fool. And in actual fact, his character was also a fool. But for me, what was interesting was the fact that the woman stood in front of another man and said, my husband is a fool. Now, every woman would like to marry a leader. Every woman would like to marry a hero. In fact, every woman's husband is somebody that is a hero and somebody that she looks up to, somebody she sees, um, she sees leadership, someone that she sees, this person, I, yeah, that's my man. Every woman would like to say, that's my man going over there. You remember, even uh, uh, James and John's mother comes to Jesus and say, you know what, these are my men, these are my boys. You know, something to be proud of, something that makes them proud, something that makes them boastful. The challenge is the day the hero becomes a fool. The day the hero figure becomes a fool. The day a man's activity or the day the man's actions or the day the man's character swerves or, 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 or swings into the arena of the foolish. And that's a very, very dangerous place to be. Because that means the hero is dead. For that woman to be able to stand in front of David and say, my husband is a fool, as his name is, so is he. It means something is dead. The day the hero figure comes down from the platform of respect, of the platform of reverence, or the platform of admiration, the day the hero figure comes tumbling down. I want to tell you that you, you've, you are, you're, you're in big trouble. So every man must recognize that you are the hero of your spouse. You are the hero of your wife. The day she begins to think and contemplate and say, you are a fool. So here's the point. Nabal was a fool. 
Everybody in Naba's house knew Naba was a fool. Even the cockroach, the roach in, in Naba's house knew he was a fool. The only person who didn't know he was a fool was Naba himself. And guess what? The woman who admired Nabal, the woman who married Nabal for admiration, for respect, for reverence, for leadership, and all the things that made him attractive, dashingly attractive, now stands in front of another man and says, my husband is a fool. And the day she makes that statement, you are in big trouble. The day the hero figure disappears, the day the hero figure goes away, you are in big, big trouble. So you see what she did? She virtually proposed to another man and said, when you come into your kingdom, remember me. Remember you for what? And immediately Nabal died. Did you see the story? I mean, immediately Nabal died when David said, come marry me. Oh, till Lord, she goes to marry David. Now guess what? The hero figure died. And, and, and do, do, do you know that if you read the story very carefully, I mean, it was Abigail, I, I think, and I believe that it was Abigail who, super, who killed Nabal. She didn't kill him with a sword. She reported the incident that, oh, Nabal comes and says, where do you go? I went to see David. Why do you go and see David? I went and gave him your best wine and your best fatlings of the cow. What? What are you saying? Yes, that's what I did. So he's angry and he's pouting in his anger because that's what his character is. He that is soon angry exalts folly, exalts foolishness. So he's angry and he's pranting prancing and prating around and all the things that he's doing. And then she begins to worsen and say, oh, I, I gave, him, gave him your best wine. Oh boy. By that time, and the Bible said, in his fit of anger, he fell down and became stiff. That is stroke. That is a heart attack. And in that stiffness, he died. So guess what? There's always a cause for heart attack. Because he that is soon angry exalts folly. So guess what, what it is? It was, for me, it was Abigail. So, oh, yeah, I gave it to her. And you know the way she would say it, maybe like a typical, you know, some of the people I know. Oh, yeah, oh, I gave him your best one. And, oh, even, even your best cow. Oh, and, and I even added your, your, your best fucking knife. Oh, man, the guy is fuming. And, and she's supervising. And she's watching me. And she's grinning. Nah, 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 nah. Here comes a fool. Heroes of foolishness. Foolish hero. Is the choice of every man before his spouse. Don't be a foolish hero. See you later.